Hello. <laughs> We're just in the garden checking out this um, we radishes. Have radishes. That's right. The uh, point with my sh I cannot. Shadow. Anyway, those no. are the radishes here. Yeah. And in the back is Celtus. Mmm, really good. Still very small though. Very small. I don't That's know if you have us, a time. Right? We didn't have that before successfully. We did two years ago. I just learned that the Celta seeds, yeah, that's right, uh, didn't succeed. It just had a Celta not very, not very nice stand. Anyways, I just learned this year that Celta only, only fresh seeds sprouts. So here's some little thing that look like wheat, or not wheat, they're broad beans. Broad beans? Yeah, fava bean, broad beans. Oh, these are broad beans too. Yeah, all of those. Those new ones and these more mature mm. ones. Don't worry, we're gonna tie them up soon. You'll probably see that mm. later. The store bought uh, ones are super old. They all have the black line. Super uh, old means they're um, not fresh. Like they're too mature and they don't be. They're not delicious. Just because that's not how we say them. Oh, oh, how do you say that? Not fresh. They're okay. They're not but fresh. Anyway, that's what we. So mean we're trying old. to grow that. It's supposed to be really good for the soil. Because they have some kind of a uh, fungus that, uh, like nitrogen fixer or something like that. I don't know oh, the details. That's really good. So here are some Tonghao mini baby Tonghao emergency transplant. I know I'm not supposed to transplant them outside, it's so small, but I'm running out of space and they start to get really laggy inside. Same with the bat choy, which I just put that these batches in yesterday. And here are some. Uh, Zucchini. Mm, five um, zucchinis. Mm, mm, I'm zucchini hoping precious. they can mature and harvest them a little bit early this year, as in the summer we have those bugs who eat them. Yeah, vine bore. Kill them. Yes. Vine bore. Not eat them, kill them. Yeah, right in the root. Nasty. Here is blueberry that we never get a good harvest. Hopefully, this year we put some some uh, like fir boughs to help enrich the soil over the winter so fingers crossed that will help the blueberries produce better this year and this is a tulip planted by the squirrels <laughs> and you see the Excellent. wire this is our hoop house now they just uh, will lift that open so the plant doesn't get all burned out by the hot so this is uh, lettuce supposed to be fast grow lettuce doesn't look very fast to me. Slow grow lettuce in the back. She's pretty impatient. Hmm. But try. Those actually can be eaten now, but I'm gonna wait a week or two so they're bigger. Yeah, that's a Probably really a week. small dish. They're called ji mao cai. They're supposed to eat super babies. Uh, spinach, very slow growing, very slow growing. Cannot say I love slow growing veggies. And again, Tonghao in the mini front and little baby butt choy from yesterday. So you can kind of get a feel that she's doing a great job with the rotation, right? We've got some pretty mature, some brand new, and that's kind of the goal. So you're doing a really great job. This is pretty new for her. Yeah, this is my so first alert. year trying yeah. to extend the season to the early side and starting inside and have extensive hoop house outside you're doing a great job it's really and i'm hoping to harvest those things so that i can use the bed for bigger plants mm -hmm. which you will see from inside okay this is a slightly messy manure this guy <laughs> grew since yesterday i'm not kidding. i know can you see our poor rose this rose has been suffering for years mm -hmm. literally uh three or four years on our front yard with insufficient sun last year in the middle of the season insufficient sun insufficient sun yeah we said enough is enough we moved it back here and it did great for only a half season so i think i have high hopes for this guy i think it's i hope i can back. eat it this year mm -hmm. and it's edible rose so we're going to eat the flowers same with this also edible rose and same thing it was also in the front suffering for years because it's a wild variety it did a little bit better but never had a flower oh yeah it's green now yeah it oh, has green and we're going to get a lot of flowers this year i'm confident did they see the strawberries we i planted that are now going wild these strawberries yeah. come from kitchener we transplant them here and they've expanded a lot but they don't make berries i think the soil is not nutritious enough 
Yeah. So if you know what we should do about that, leave a comment down below. Yeah. We'd appreciate all kinds of gardening suggestions as we're just quite new in this. I don't like seeds that doesn't sprout the next day. It feels like nothing is happening. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. And then what have we got here? <laughs> Pathetic chaos. <laughs> Oh, here. Okay, these are uh, jiu cai. Chinese chai, you call that? I don't know. Yeah, call it Chinese chai. Yes. Jiu cai. Very delicious. Store bought are usually very straining because they cannot harvest too yum. It's not a good deal. Or they're super expensive. So yeah, I have these are so good. And this is oregano. Surprised it made it over winter and stays super green. Mm, smells like oregano. Yeah, we literally, let's tell them about that a bit. So we, back when the ground was still frozen, we removed the leaf. We cover the whole place in old, the leaves from the trees in the neighborhood. We removed it and it was green, like right, right? away. Right? It was pretty impressive. Yeah. In fact, it was greener then than it is now. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> See, it's yellowing in the center. Ah, why? Don't know. I don't know. Anyway, those chives, I have two, those are her more edible ones, not more edible, just like, you know, veggie, like I can eat more quantity. I'm going to use a half of them for jiu huang, which is the yellow, which I will have to fully cover then to make zero light and they will keep growing and um, yellow, different, slightly different flavor and very tender. Very tender. And so I will save the other half as comparison group so I know how long they've grown. Mm. Anyways, we need to find a container for that size-ish stuff. Right, uh, an opaque container to block the sun. Right. What is this guy? That's a Brussels sprout. That's a Brussels sprout. The, that has been grown indoor for like uh, four or six weeks. They grow so slow. So I was like out of space and and this guy died. And the transplant of this planter, as you can notice, there's baby kales all murdered. They just didn't survive. And I didn't... Yay! I, <laughs> I think I didn't water them or something. I forgot about them or something. I don't know. Just they... I don't think they will make it. So, oh well. I'm sad about the Brussels sprout, but not about the kale. Mm. Okay, this is our... This is amazing, okay? <laughs> so broken. Don't put it in the video. You oh, don't need to okay. show them the here, whole broken here. house. It's not yeah. so broken, okay? It's just one weird section. I don't know what's okay. going on. It was like that when we moved in, okay? I didn't get around to fixing it. <laughs> don't judge me. Shh. Everything is okay. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Look at this. I'm amazed by this. This is amazing. I'm super okay. proud of the work How that Jenna's done here. Like, this is a huh? magical place. I sometimes imagine myself coming down here and sleeping on the back of one of the shelves. Oh. In the ultra fresh air. Right? No, at night you will have a lot of CO2. Ooh, you should do it in daytime. We should breathe in. You know, those plants, they need a CO2 to breathe to follow the <sighs> It does smell really good in here. Right. <laughs> do it, do it. They love the wind. Tomato likes a little wind. Okay, so... Um, I've, I've ne we've never had tomatoes so healthy. I don't know if you guys can see the fur. They're covered in... Uh, I don't know if they're trichomes or not, but they're covered in fur. Uh, it's not on the leaf, so maybe it's not, but... They, and mm. the th stalk is thick and juicy. It looks really healthy. Right. When we've grown from seed, we never had them so thick and so... Because we have the light. Grow light is really important and also like it's an LED it's, sun. It's not ideal. So you can see I have a really cheap version of the sun, uh, the, the fan here, try to help with the airflow. But it's not ideal. And with one light and the space, it's a cube space, it's really hard to like get everybody a good amount of sun. So in the second shelf, or even the third shelf is really hard. It's quite a bit dimmer. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I have to put this. And you might wonder what are those. Those are pepper, okay? So don't worry, I know it's not good for pepper to be like that, but they grow pretty nice. 
Those are peppers. I'm gonna eat, not eat the pepper, eat the leaves. So I don't care if they are gone. Right, right. We grab the ones that we're going to. We choose some into good peppers, ones, and they're already separate. And these guys are right. just getting grown for their leaf. Right, the ones in the deep. I also cut a few for experimental purpose, like this one. Hey, oh, I cannot see now. Anyway, I think I'm. They can on see. A, you can't see. Okay, I don't know. Like yeah, I on. cut them so that uh, they to encourage the side growth. Uh, I watch uh, a while ago. Who was that? Uh, Alberta Gardner or somebody? Oh, we miss you, dude. <laughs> if you're watching, uh, probably not. He said something like that. So I was like, oh, I think I have time. Let's just try it. Not to mention, I have a lot of pepper. Uh, we grow two kinds of pepper: hot. Jalapeno and uh, cayenne. Those are our favorite pe pepper, and they preserve. Yeah, and they're those easy to preserve, are, and bell peppers are slow for the yield. We're just not into that. Yeah, and those are uh, okra. Okay, hot. So all those are hot weather stuff. I have to keep them inside for now. Mm. And with one strong light in the middle and diffuse light in the lower, it's kind of hard to balance. So I right. feel like that's why they're still a little bit leggy -ish. Oh, Your peppers down low are doing great. Yeah. Yeah, those are Sorry, I didn't mean relative. to around. No, it's okay. It's those just... are relatively better looking peppers. The top layer, I feel like the tomato is not getting enough uh, circulation or something like they don't look as good as I want it to be <laughs> mm. so you know what I mean like I need to do some work I want to change this fans a little bit high or something if you know anything let me know and yeah, yeah. Do you have any tips or whatever. we have I also three noticed different variety Sorry. Sorry, a bunch of stuff has a yellowish leaf with dark veins that seems to be a bit of I a really think it's too much species. Sun like I really have a space problem, a right. huge space problem. Like uh, I feel like uh, this, I put this light to the highest it could with a setup like this. But I feel like it's really, really on top mm. of this pepper. So this pepper is really like yellow. Right, right. And because of the space, it's very hard for me to spin the whole, <laughs> the whole box. Right. So, the shelf is too small, the box yeah, is too big, etc. Yeah, it's, uh, I have, if you see any suggestions, let me know. I actually need help here to make things work. So okra early times was in lower shelf, so I think that's why they're leggy as well. I'm gonna have to top up with some soil. Anyways, and I try to rotate them. If I put like this tomato here, oh, these ones, like these ones were on top. A couple of days ago, I tried to put them lower so they take a break of the strong sun, strong fake sun kind of situation. Yeah, and what are we down to? 10 hours a day? Mm, 10 hours a day. Right. It's just on the top guy, it's really strong. On the bottom one, it's not enough. Yeah, the bottom ones need it. The top ones are getting too much, I think. Right, we have uh, four different tomatoes. Three mm. are big types. Yummy, I love tomatoes. Right, so. Mama and... Rookers? Root... R what? How do you say that? Rutgers. R yeah, that. And uh... I forget the other one too. Anyway, forgot that one. Supposed to be really delicious and uh, we also have the sweet... I million? found out something weird too. I might uh. want to say it on the video. Rutgers, I was watching a video and he said Rutgers are determinant which is false. Rutgers are indeterminate. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. But Rutgers grow to a specific height. Determine, I used to think determinant and indeterminant was related to height. Yeah. It's determined to fruit creation. Indeterminant will bear fruit once it can bear fruit and it will bear fruit till it I was it's watching can't. it. Yeah. That's I was indeterminate. watching the video. Mm. The other guy was actually for a, for we prefer indeterminate. Yes. But the other guy was a preferred determinant so that they can make space because he she also had small not really small, limited? small uh, yeah, limited space and mm. one rotation for right. autumn crew up. So determinant means they flower, they make tomatoes, and you can pull them out because they're done. Uh, That's yes. what it means. And they're smaller in mm. general, yes. so easier to manage and all that. So she kind of grows some of those. Yeah. Uh, she grow multiple types. Anyway, we have four types. We'll see which one tastes better. 
And here more pepper. Those are just so, the veggie pepper here. Because the pork pepper. doesn't have any. Yeah, more our favorite spawns. nursery closed down during this pandemic. So, don't know why. Could be totally irrelevant. But uh, anyway, that's the reason I'm starting myself. And uh, here is the summer savory. Supposed to be really good with the fava bean grow together kind of a companion thing. Even comes on the package. I See didn't know that. See how smart she is. I'm just so impressed. Rosemary. Okay, this is funny. I totally give up. I didn't even expect it to have any result. I was about to dump it as I take it out. There's seeds because they took oh, about a tree. they took about like a month or two months to germinate. If I wasn't so lazy, they're they're gone already. What? <laughs> it's a really tree-like bush, like slow. I feel. But okay. I don't know why you grow it. It's, it's, and it why? So I should keep that inside. Mm. Okay, I will keep that all inside. I, cause we have seed. I don't know why we have seed. Those are seven years old seed that sprouted. Wow, Great for them. that's pretty impressive too. Yes. So my goal is to use up all seeds. So here is marigold. I as I try to start some marigold, I thought it's good for the garden to repel. Uh, bugs and stuff. Then I read some paper. It seems like some people think it works. Some people think it doesn't work. And study shows it doesn't work. All that jazz. I don't know. So I have no idea. The most important thing for me here is hyacinths. 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 Yeah, perfect the first time. Hyacinths, those little ones. Though their bean is so good and their flower is like mini orchid, really pretty. They oh, climb. Really pretty. They're got so many comments from the neighbors. What a beautiful garden! Yeah, we can't wait to eat it. <laughs> and little uh, basil. We also have seed. I basically seed all the old seeds we have. This is cucumber. Is this slow growing? I don't know. I feel like they all grow very slow. Cucumber, lufa, lufa, very delicious. Oh, really good. Okay, store bought, also too old. Like it's past the prime oh, eating time. It was time. disgusting, uh, inedible. <laughs> we tried one. It was so bad. Right. Look at that. And okra. we had those last summer, and they are so good in your soup. You make that soup with those. Anyway, I'll stop ranting about lufa, but. Hmm. Right. And. Uh, this is what's this? This is thyme. I made a mistake. I shouldn't see them in those kind of shallow containers. I try to reuse all the containers I have at home. Those are bad. Like same with the rosemary. It's it's wrong. I won't I won't do that again. And those, okay, it didn't succeed. Uh, how should I say this? This is uh, watercress, okay? Mm -hmm. You can just uh, buy from the store and start grow them, but I. I didn't have time to really maintain them. Do they like the shade? They are shade-ish. Uh, they're Look, okay it's doing with the so shade. so well in the dark back here. Yeah, they are not. In the front, it's just suffering. They are not a huge day into sun. Like uh, that's why I put them on the <clears throat> bottom shelf. But, <clears throat> but I think they need some maintenance. And uh, they need the soil really wet. They're like really easy to grow, cheap in Asian stores, super expensive in uh, regular yeah. grocery stores. But uh, I need farm to... boy. We're looking at you. <laughs> we need to. I need to do something or start some other things. It's just that when I when I started to get the root in the water, I didn't have containers, so they started to die. Then I panicked and put them in and never even gave them any attention. So, yeah. See, son of those. Okay. I guess that Dead. Mm. Goodbye. Anyways, I need to work on this guy a bit. That's pretty much it. And also I have other stuff uh, sprouting. Oh. If you're I, thinking to yourself, oh my goodness, that seems like a lot of work. It is. She's done a really great job keeping this all managed. And Phil like, helps a lot, for really sure. Really good. I don't do much. Now you mix dirt. That's I moved a, the fan, though. Uh, oh, oh, awesome. That's great. I really thought in a small space with one fan in the lower should circulate the whole thing. Not at all. Mm. So, oh, this is great. It's coming in, coming in. 
And just look at the tomato shaking like crazy and you'll see that it's all good. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, hope they will perk up. I don't know, mama tomato? Are you supposed to be so droopy? I don't think so. No, no. If you have any suggestions how should I fix this or what they need, let me know. I need help. Okay, we also have this and I totally forgot about this. Those are not human bodies. Hey yo! <laughs> It's just a plastic, black plastic bag and it They're looks small anyway. a little bit scary. A roll of them, those are mushrooms. Uh, oyster, yellow oyster and uh, shiitake. They're actually oak logs inoculated oh, yes. with mushroom. That's right. Mycelium, I just love to say that word. I don't even know <laughs> if I said it right. Probably I'm going to get corrected. So uh, yeah, because when we got it to Ottawa, it was so cold. So we put that indoor and again, really dry here. So we put this bag around mm. to preserve the uh, when did we last soak these guys in the rain yeah March it was our last rain we're here in the nearly into the middle of April first yeah. week of April we haven't had rain since then that's worth mentioning Can I show really you dry. Yeah. yeah it's very dry so when there's a good oh, rain sorry. or stuff I'll try to bring it's them back very dramatic the white for us oh, for a little soap. So, so these are wax spots where we inoculated with plugs. It's pretty fun to do. You ordered them online. Yeah. We followed the instructions as best we could. And now this log is getting eaten alive by mushroom. Right. And hopefully we can eat the mushroom. What a wonderful life circle. These are the babies that I'm super proud of. Gardenia. My favorite flower. So those are from clippings and I think they survived. I have the water bottle here to give them a miss every every a while, considering this is extremely dry dry situation in Canada. So I don't know, I don't think they're gonna flower this year. According to your uncle, they're going to flower in 15 years. <laughs> my aunt, my aunt said, what are those little gardenia? They're like going to take years to flower. So that's pretty not encouraging. And, ayo, I meant to eat this this morning. Coriander. I'm sprouting more, but those are the first batches. Here are some more veggies. Kong Xin Cai, the, the hollow water spinach or something like the stand is hollow in the middle those love water love hot weather so it's a great summer veggie and super delicious with garlic stir fry and i also sprouted uh, i forgot once they pop out they will look good at the beginning of the season i label everything well now i don't <laughs> and this is an interesting thing. Can you guess what it is? Here is my tea display shelf. I think that's pretty cool on the ledge. So this is a sweet potato. And I'm trying to get it uh, to root and have more leaves. I cannot buy this in the store because they said in Ottawa, it's not realistic to grow sweet potato, which is totally true. Just, I don't want it to grow and have sweet potato as a result, but sweet potato leaves are really delicious, especially homegrown, those young tender shoots. So this is what I'm trying to do, get them to grow enough leaf and propagate them so that I can have them as a leafy green. Takes a while. Look at those crazy roots. <laughs> 